All right, so when we're working with multi-channel audio files, we have a few useful features at our disposal. Uh, so I've got a five-channel audio file here. If I move my mouse to the left here uh, and uh, just hover over the drag and drop bar, uh, these buttons here, what's called channel extract buttons, will actually appear at the top of the, uh, the waveform window. Now, what this allows me to do is select any of the channels that are available in this file to focus on. So channels uh, are listed from top to bottom. So one at the top, five at the bottom in this particular file. If I want to focus on channel one, um, so this is particularly good if we're using uh, uh, field recordings or multi-track recordings that aren't surround sound recordings. Uh, we might have dialogue and, and mixed recordings all in the one file. I can select the channel that I want to work with and this will uh, ignore the other channels and now we're focused just on channel one here. Uh, so from here, I can then spot this straight into my door and uh, channel one is the only channel that will be carried across. We also have the mono mix option. So this button here will mix all of the channels down to a single mono file. Uh, it will handle all of the, um, uh, the summing and everything automatically so that the file doesn't clip. Uh, and then this allows us to then transfer the entire mix over in a single mono file. Uh, if I want to revert back to the original file, so this is all done um, just for preview purposes or it's not, it doesn't affect the actual original file. If I select the original file again, it will just reload it. Uh, if I happen to have um, summed it all to mono and I just want to quickly revert back, I can press the escape key and that will go back to our multi-channel view. Okay, so some additional options when working with multi-channel files is the quick access panel or QAP panel. So we can click this button down in the bottom left-hand corner or we can press the F2 key. And this will open up what's called the quick access panel. So this is an overview panel uh, when we're working with multi-channel uh, audio files. So you can see that uh, when I play back this file, we have a, uh, a meter that indicates the uh, level for each channel. Up the top here, we have the uh, the same buttons still that allow us to extract the individual channels. Uh, we can click the um, uh, this extract um, tag here to reset that. We also have some solo and mute buttons as well. So we can uh, mute individual channels if we don't want to hear them, uh, or we can solo a particular channel and just hear that particular channel. We also have uh, these uh, mo uh, mono and stereo mix options here. So if I spot this uh, file, for instance, into my door, first thing you'll see is when I'm spotting, it's actually taking a little bit of time to transfer the file across to my door. So you'll see here that uh, this has now been imported straight into my, into my timeline as a five channel file. Uh, the reason that it's taking a little bit of time, so if I grab this file, for instance, and drag it, you'll see that it drops in straight away. So this is one of the things that uh, is worth pointing out if you're not aware, that uh, we can drag and drop straight from the results list. But what this will do is this will copy the file exactly as it is into the timeline of our door. Now in Reaper here, I'm actually running at 48 kilohertz, 24 bits for this project. What I ideally want is all of my samples to be imported at that particular frame rate. Uh, or that particular sample rate. Uh, so what basehead will do is when we're spotting to track, so when we use the S to spot to track, or when we press um, the T to add it to our tag list, or when we use the drag and drop bar, this takes whatever information that we've highlighted here and we'll import it into our door using what's called the transcoder settings. So in the options, um, we have the transfer options here. So you can see that I am transcoding to 48 kilohertz at 24 bits, and I'm using the highest quality available to do this. And so this means that any time that I send audio from my waveform view into my door, it's going to automatically convert that information to, the, um, uh, to what I've got set in there. So this just ensures that everything that I carry across is going to match the sample rate of my project. I'm not gonna have any problems. There are some applications that don't actually support working with different um, audio formats. So everything has to be in the same format. So this allows us to do that. 
Okay, so we have the mono and stereo file options here. So this will just basically downmix the audio when we transfer it into our door into a uh, mono file or into a stereo file. Uh, if we deselect this, it will transfer based on whatever channels we selected or whatever the uh, channel count is in the file. Then we have this fold button here. Now this is just for monitoring purposes. What this will do is this will take multi-channel audio uh, files and then fold it down to a single stereo mix just for monitoring. Uh, so this is particularly useful in uh, multi-channel audio installations uh, where we actually have surround sound speakers. Uh, we might be working with files that are actually field recorder based, they're not multi-channel files. Uh, and what we want to do is just hear all of those instead of coming out the individual speakers in our studio, we want to fold all of that down into a stereo mix. Uh, so engaging this option will automatically fold any of those down into a stereo mix. Uh, it should be noted though, uh, if we go into the options for Basehead and we engage this option here, fold down field recorders, this will automatically do that uh, when we select any of those channels, uh, select any of those files um, that have that, um, that encoding in them. Uh, we can also add, as the note says here, if we add an F and an R, just pop that up again, an F and an R into the microphone field, so F slash R, this will indicate to Basehead that this is a field recording and to automatically fold that, that uh, file down to a stereo file. So definitely worth uh, adding some metadata, just put an FR, F slash R uh, into the microphone field. It uh, doesn't matter where it is in the field, it can be before or after your microphone model, and it will automatically fold those recordings down to a stereo file.